Thank you. 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 Uh, could the Mapoko kill the cops or it will survive into the area? Yes, the main reason for Amapoko to kill and push all the males in the greater Savi sand, also entering now into 23 hectares of Menulet site, is the matter of the need their own gene to be spread out into the area that they can be more happy with their own gene. The cops will survive, although if one of the males here is not having chance to mate with, with the female, you find that the strongest male, all of them, they have mated with all different females. Even one male here he doesn't mate. We have taken an example of Mr. T because he doesn't have that uh, a beautiful man. It will be more difficult for him to find a female to mate. But the rest of the male here, they can able to mate. He's not going to kill the cubs. He will send them as the part of the coercion that are all together into the area. The cubs will be not more safe and they're able to survive around in the area. And the reason of the cops who survive from the same coalition of men like this is a matter of their blood is not going to challenge them into the area. And the more they have bigger crowds into the area, some of the females will be more than 15, 20. If other new male comes, they'll all join the males and fight the new male off into the area if they want to take over from the territory because of the cops that they have, they have to protect. Even they get into the old stage, they're able to survive with the support of the female. They won't be happy for new male to come into the area. They have a lot of support. If the female have female youngsters as females, they're going to be growing up together with the pride. The young males is only the young males is going to automatically grow up from the pride and go somewhere else and find their own territory because they're involved in breeding. You know, the blood has to change always into the pride. So the cubs that belong to Amapoho males, definitely Lisa from New York, they're going, to, they're going to survive. They're going to take care of them and survive into the area with that reason. Because it will be more respect to this male because it's, it's the same blood. They won't challenge them and kill them and take over from the dominant ship. It's a clever way of life how they live. Beautiful pride here. <laughs> Thank you, sir. But that's yes, I'll give as information. As the line lying down here, the biggest threat from the lines, it could be another male. What could make them jump up and run away from the point here? Yeah? It, it, it's when if the other male comes, as uh, uh, another male is coming from others, uh, other territory, or if a new dominant male comes into the area. It will jump up and get fight, but they will turn back and fight. Normally, you tend to see these lions are always lying very close together. Is that a security for themselves? If one man get uh, attack with the other man, the one will jump up and fight for the other one and get the other one get relief from the other man. Is on that way. Most of the time, if lions at night lying down, being close together, sometimes you may find that the area where they are. They're still suspecting something that might happen for themselves. 
from other miles so they can all come together. But other thing that will make them run away into the area is when if a breeding herd of elephant come or elephant come into the area directly into them, push them away, they can run away. Otherwise, if anything comes, the one fuzzy, fuzzy girl. Mufazi Ngala, if they come, they really, they, they say, I mean, this animal, when it comes to sense of hearing and smells, it's well developed. They can really hear that from the distance. Any yeah. other animal come into the area, they can hear that from the distance. But if it comes by surprise, um, in downwind, it's one of the problems that can scare and run away and turn back and fight. Or if Mufazi, she comes from downwind, yes, it could be a surprise for the male lions to be in the area. Then definitely that they will stood up and look at them because they can see better during at night than we see during the, the day. So they can see that it's Mafazi coming here. If he comes quiet and gently, yes, but if he's come running, it uh, seems like he's going to attack them. They'll jump up and run and turn back and face the direction wherever it's coming. And bear in mind, lines most of the time at night they can see better. Anything if they come there, they can run away for short distance and turn back and face that particular animal. Try to protect themselves. Maybe the other thing that will make them run so really, really scared for them is when the honey, honey badger come now. <laughs> yes, it will be. <laughs> All of them, they can run away, definitely. They can, one honey badger can fight with these five cohesion of mouths. It can fight for it continuously until it gets uh, late, early in the morning. Because honey badger is one of the strongest animals we have into the area. And it really stronger than the male lion. Yes, yeah, stronger than the male lion. It can really even male lions respect a honey badger into the area. So it's one of the things that honey badger if they come here, yeah, it automatically to have interaction and they can really really a serious problem getting here together, then they can run away. Remember honey badger is a very small animal and you got that white and black sort of a colour that they have. And the danger of the animal when it fights their body, the ribs and everything, it looks like plastic. It's not easy for the ribs for uh, honey badger to get uh, smashed or break in, in between. So lions can fight the whole night. It's only, it, 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 it's, it's only not going to help the animals. So it keep on fighting. Although the animal can grab it and run away, wherever it leaves it, it will turn back and fight. And actually, when it fights, because it's very small animals, it go underneath the legs of the animal. It will go for the sexual part of the animals and grab that. And it can't leave it. It will grab it until it take. It, I mean, it really get loose. If it goes to the balls, it will bite the balls until the balls get loose. And there's a high chance for each and every animal it has been grabbed from the sexual part to die. Because it's where the stress come from. This is how the honey badger fight into the air. You tend to see the lions respect the honey birds a lot of time. Fair respect. They can run away easily. So actually one of the animals that will make this part of lions run away is a honey badger. <laughs>